One of the big problems with our economy over the last 12 plus years has been the role of the Federal Reserve. Remember the internet bubble? How about the housing bubble? Now we have the government spending bubble. The Federal Reserve has been intricately involved in each one of those bubbles. They flooded our financial system in 1999, right at the height of the internet, caused the internet bubble. After that broke, they took interest rates down to 1%, caused the formation for the housing bubble. But worse is they're engaging in something called quantitative easing. What is quantitative easing? It's the monetization of the government's debt. Last year, the Federal Reserve, an arm of our federal government, bought 61% of all treasuries issued by the Treasury Department. That's money printing. It's devaluing our dollar, which is the reason why gas prices have gone up, food prices have gone up, all our base metal prices, and you can show that most clearly with the price of gold. So I believe the Federal Reserve's actions are constantly to the benefit of Wall Street and to the detriment of Main Street. And I believe that needs to change. So here's my proposals about the Fed. One, we need to audit the Fed. Two, we need to remove this dual mandate. They have a mandate of price stability that was put in place for a long time, and then they picked up the mandate of full employment. Well, the Fed doesn't create jobs, and in fact, a lot of times as they try to overstimulate the economy, much like with the housing bubble, all they do is create a bigger mess with jobs. Lastly, stop appointing nothing but academics who've never operated in the real world or who don't understand the global financial markets to the Federal Reserve Board. We need people that have been real practitioners that understand how the global capital markets actually work. So those are my proposals about the Fed because we need to change course in how the Fed is interacting in our government today because it's caused a lot of damage to our economy.